Hey guys, this is Jorgen De Castro, UFC heavyweight fighter. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sugar Sean O'Malley, and I fight in UFC bantamweight division. Hey, this is Benil Dariush. I fight for the UFC in the lightweight division. My name is Yasmin Anders. I'm Eric, uh, Eric Anders' wife. Uh, he's a UFC fighter, and I help him with his nutrition. I'm not a professional nutritionist, but I understand a lot because I compete in bodybuilding, so I have some experience personally myself, and I could do it for Eric too. Do I eat a, I'm at least six? I mean, four meals with two shakes. Four meals with two shakes, yeah. Um, I think I was doing five. Uh, training camp, depending where I am in training camp, I normally have uh, four meals a day and then some small snacks. If I'm eight weeks out and then I get closer, it'll become three meals a day with two snacks. So it depends a lot on uh, what stage of a uh, fight camp he's at. So if he's off, we don't count much because uh, if he's not in fight camp, uh, he eats pretty much as he feels like he's hungry or he doesn't follow any anything if he's not in fight camp. He just tries to eat at least three very healthy meals and then he eats where he wants in the other snacks or whatever. Uh, but the more he needs to cut and the, the closer it is to the fight, we, we try to make more meals in uh, small amounts. So he, he keeps um, full all the time and he doesn't get too hungry. So whenever he eats, he doesn't need to eat a big meal. So usually if he, for example, right now that he's still, you know, he's still in fight camp because we don't know what's going to happen. Um, by this time, it would be three, four weeks he would be having between four and five meals a day. Um, usually four. Uh, but then as the weeks go by, uh, for example, two weeks, we would try to make him eat five or six meals a day. So it depends a lot on how much he still has to cut, if he has been feeling good, if he, he, if he has the energy enough to train, uh, if he has been hungry or not, but that's, that's the average of meals he has a day. Uh, scrambled eggs with the potatoes, like home home fries potato. Um, five ounces of meat. Uh, nuts and an apple, I think. Breakfast, I, I actually will have more carbs than any other meal, so I can get bread, potatoes, um, anything like that, and then eggs. Uh, and uh, just just kind of carb up because I'm gonna use the carbs all throughout the day. Breakfast, uh, if he is uh, like a month before the fight, he likes to eat uh, oatmeal and uh, sometimes some eggs. Uh, but the closer we get to the fight, we just cut the carbs in the morning and just give him an omelet or eggs. And you know, sometimes he doesn't even want to eat so much in the morning because he goes. And it's hard in the morning, so he doesn't want to have a full stomach. So he drinks a protein shake and has a fruit. For lunch, I got uh, all types of different food. I mean, I got sponsored or, or, or do my like nutrition, like my foods. So sometimes I get like salmon, brown rice, and uh, the asparagus. Sometimes I have like uh, chicken, broccoli, then rice. Uh, basic is like, yeah. A protein, a veggie, and then the rice. A lunch is usually a salad with steak and quinoa or sweet potato. And yeah, that's about it. Lunch, um, I'll, uh, I'll take some uh, complex carbs like brown rice. I'll take... Uh, uh, what is it? Sweet potatoes, things like that, uh, and uh, protein and vegetables. Uh, I'll start introducing more vegetables uh, uh, during lunch. I don't really take vegetables in the, in the morning, and then uh, uh, and then once it becomes dinner, it's all fats and vegetables. I'll, I'll focus on fats, vegetables, and proteins. So I skip the carbs. Lunch, pretty much, doesn't change. It doesn't matter what stage he is. So usually lunch is either rice, um, a little, uh, sometimes beans, and uh, either steak or chicken. 
uh, Eric doesn't eat any seafood. Um, and if uh, we get closer to the fight, I try not to give him too much rice, but more sweet potatoes, salad, and chicken or steak. Dinner, dinner that I, I cut on the on the carbs because I want to be a little bit lighter for this fight. So uh, dinner always like a salad or a salad with chicken, a salad with a steak. But I always, but I always eat between like before training, I eat like a a, a bread with a, with a peanut butter and banana, one of bananas. I eat an apple. I get two shakes between like between between uh, breakfast and lunch. I already got I got a shake. Dinner will be pretty much the same thing, uh, salad, and then for a little dessert, I'll have a, sh I'll have a little protein shake. Tonight. There's always like, some avocado because that's the easiest way to get fat. Uh, I'll, I'll have some uh, a salad and uh, some kind of protein. I, ideally, it would be a nice small ribeye steak, but we can't have that every night, so. I, uh, I'll do chicken, fish, um, sometimes elk meat. I love elk. I can have elk every night, I would. Dinner depends a lot on how much he's cutting or if he's, you know, how many weeks we are off. Uh, but he likes to have omelets at night. If not, he usually has just uh, the chicken or a steak and then a salad. Um, and if he's far, uh, you know, four weeks apart from the fight, he, he likes to eat pasta. Or for example, Wednesday night, he has very intense training at the gym because they spar. When he comes home, then he's very hungry and he's very depleted because he has the hours uh, sparring. Uh, usually then that's the night that he eats a little bit more. He eats pasta or he eats something a little more that has more calories. Uh, yes, I do have like almonds. I eat almonds. I, I eat a protein bar. I'm always eating you. I eat a lot. <laughs> and, and this is like a typical training day, like Monday to to Saturday, like like su like to Sunday, like Saturday. If I don't train, I wake up with my family. Sometimes I eat different things. You know what I'm saying? If, if I'm working with my family in the morning, I eat a pancake with my daughter, my wife. We, if we go out and uh, I can eat a, a nice steak in a restaurant, this is this is a Portuguese area, so I eat some nice Portuguese steak with a rice and eggs. I mean, I don't have to really like look at my waist, so I can always eat, eat it here and there. Um, depends how close I am to the fight. Um, if I do have snacks, um, I'll, I always I always have the Zevia for a for a late night snack. That's always good. Um. Uh, I'll usually do a shake if I'm feel, if I'm feeling like I need to eat a little extra. I'll just do like a chocolate almond milk or chocolate protein all milk, some peanut butter and some frozen berries. Yeah, snacks will will vary. You know, I'll take fruits for snacks, and then there's like uh, the almond butter snacks. The UFC does really cool snacks with like almond butter and protein powder and things like that. But uh, my first snack normally is earlier in the day so I'll, I'll, I'll make it a carb and then my second snack could be later towards the night and I, I prefer to lean towards fats and protein later towards the night so uh, whatever my snacks are like dark chocolate I can have it later in the night I, uh, be, uh, and it's perfectly good it's not, not going to be an issue yes he does he loves his snacks by the way so that's one of the, that's one of the hardest things to cut for, uh, for his diet um, so if he can choose his snacks, he's going to eat uh, cookies, chips, or whatever. But the closer we get to the fights, uh, if he's still like six or eight weeks out, uh, he can eat some bars. He, uh, he doesn't like protein bars, but like uh, more the keto bars that are fat, you know, almonds or nuts. Um, but the closer we get to the fights, we, he usually gets just some almonds and the protein shake. Oh, let me see. No. No. I'll usually have breakfast, a shake, lunch, dinner, and a shake. All right. So if I'm really far out in camp, I'll have acai. And uh, it, it's uh, it, it kind of, it's like a full meal. So if I have acai, I have to actually skip a whole meal. That, man, I love acai so much. I, I, I make it home and 
I, I know how to make it so it fits perfectly to my calorie count and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, that that's one of the big ones that messes our weight, my weight cut. I'll have acai like far out of camp, and if I do it uh, too close to my fight, it's it's kind of it just makes me gain weight. It's hard to lose weight eating acai. Um, yes, it all goes around a lot. His training. So, for example, now we are in this kind of uh, not having a normal schedule because of this virus, the coronavirus going on. So now it's a very different time that he's training different times uh, because it's just him and the coach. So, for example, today he usually doesn't go to the gym at this time, but he's going to go earlier. Uh, we had lunch and usually this after lunch he has one more meal and then he goes training at night. But as we basically had lunch and he's not, he's still a little full to eat a full meal, he's probably going to eat a snack again before going to the gym. But that's pretty much it. His meals repeat a lot what he's eating. It's basically chicken, sweet potatoes, salad, uh, a lot of alms and uh, protein shakes. 